people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to yet another review and unboxing video. This one's a bit different because it's not really official FNAF merchandise, nor is it necessarily FNAF merchandise. So if you guys were not aware, recently a few FNAF YouTubers got their very own U2's figurines. If you don't know what U2's is, it's basically like Funko Pops, but of course for YouTubers, hence the name U2's. And like I said, we got three FNAF U2's YouTubers who were made into YouTubes. I have all three of them right now to be reviewed in this singular video. We got Razbowski, 8 Ryan, and Daco. Some very prominent members in the FNAF YouTuber scene, and hopefully sometime in the future we can see a few more FNAF YouTubers be made into YouTubes figures. I mean, who knows? Maybe sometime in the future we can see a Johnny Blocks YouTubes, but of course, that'll only happen if you hit the subscribe button. And if that doesn't encourage you enough to subscribe, well, you might want to stay tuned for later today for a very special video. Anyways, let's hop right into it. Like I just said, we got three to go over. We're going to start off with the first one, Razbowski. So this is the box for our good friend, Razbowski. You can see on the back, you have a carving in a tree, Raz plus Senpai forever. And then here's the other side. Top, you got his face. Bottom, you got a bunch of Lego mumbo jumbo. And taking it out of the package, there he is. You got the front, of course, Razbowski. On one side, you have Yan Daddy. The other side, Razbowski overwatching someone swimming in a pool with some tomato sauce. Bottom, nothing special. Top again. And here is the back. Got a funny little joke. What do you get when you cross a Scotsman and a Yandere? A bloody mess. And I'm sorry, collectors, but I will be taking these out of the box for a better look at the figures. The inside has a lot of flowers, and on the back of the cover, you have a Notice Me Senpai envelope with uh, some chocolate or some more tomato sauce. And here is the figure itself self in all of its yandere glory. As you can see, you got a signature white hair, of course, in the purple guy swimsuit. Purple man poggers, you have a notice me senpai note right here, and then you have, of course, Mr. Turtle. Really nice, he's doing the little kawaii pose right there. He looks super cute, and of course, in a, a, a non-weird way. Bit of a side. Bit of his back. And there's the other side, and this is the Razbowski figurine. I really like it. I really like all of these figurines. And normally I would say, oh yeah, I highly recommend you getting this for yourself, but I think all these are sold out, unfortunately. So if you miss them, I'm sorry, but you missed them. The second figurine we're gonna be looking at is 8-Bit Ryan. I'm not trying to have any biases here, but I freaking love his figurine. Mainly because it's more of a statue, because as you can see, he's actually standing on top of a bunch of corpses and animatronic parts. Here's the side of the box. Here's the back of the box. Of course, you have the 8-Bit Ryan logo. What appears to be a couple zombie hands, and of course, Nightmare Freddy. And here is the other side. Top. Bottom, nothing fancy. And opening this puppy up, look at that. I really, really, really love the packaging for these things and really all of the U2's products. There's always so much detail on them. There's the back, there's one of the sides. One of his quotes, you've got to be kidding me. You got Shadow Bonnie and another Shadow animatronic in Toy Freddy, it seems, looming around a corner. And then you have 8-Bit Ryan trying to escape all of these zombies and animatronics. You got, so what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here. And it looks like you just got yourself a mini-me. This figurine encapsulates the notable moment where I epically showed down with monsters of all variants, variations, sorry. And of course, one, all off-camera. Keep this figure safe as he will you when the monsters decide to surface once again. I freaking love this. <laughs> the back of it looks amazing. Taking a peek inside, you have Caution Amazing U2s inside. What the heck was the U2s? Oh snap, it's right here! Again, I I freaking love this one so much. I'm trying not to be biased here because I do freaking love these ones all equally, but this one is just amazing. Again, I like to think of this more of a statue than a figurine, just cause, I mean, just look at how bad butt he looks on those corpses, dude. As you can see, he's being pulled by some zombies and of course, some animatronic hands. I do really like the 8-Bit Ryan logo he has on his shirt. As you can see, he's holding a flashlight. And here's the back of it. A freaking amazing figurine. And finally, we have Daco. This one I think you guys will get the most kick out of because as you can see, it is just littered with FNAF Easter eggs. Look, it's freaking Spring Bonnie and the Paper Pals. Even though I'm pretty sure this one is not a Paper Pal in FNAF, I think that's supposed to be a Bonnie Paper Pal instead. But whatever, it looks amazing as you can see. Oh yeah, the FNAF 1 crying child posters and the pizza slices on the bathroom wall 
roll, it looks amazing. And the box itself is even more amazing. Let's start off with this side. As you can see, it is glitch trap, we can assume, peering out from the showtime curtain in Help Wanted. Actually, maybe it's not, because those are actually animatronic hands, so maybe it's spring trap instead. You have glowing eyes. We'll come back to the back, but here it is quickly. And then this side, I'm super interested in, because this could be a sneak peek of what's to come. If you guys don't know, for a while now, FNAF U2s have been confirmed to be in the making. Of course, we don't know who is being made just yet, but this does give us a pretty good idea of what they could look like. You can see they're also in the FNAF 1 office. And here is the back. I was delivered this item by a strange man. He looked very similar to what's inside the box. His eyes looked broken and lost, and he was holding what looked like a rabbit head. He stared for a while, and then he smiled and whispered, join us, dropping the box. He then walked away into the darkness. I never saw him again. What does join us mean? It almost feels as if it's watching me, but that's not possible, right? I feel like something or someone is attached to this item. Are there more of these strange figures around? As you can see, it looks to be the FNAF 2 office, maybe? It definitely has the gift boxes and also the FNAF 2 Freddy Fazbear spare mask. And taking a look inside, it does urge us to join him. And once again, a freaking amazing U2s. I have no problems with really any of these, except for, unfortunately, my home man Darko. It's a really dumb uh, nitpick, but uh, it seems like the glitch trap head is just a bit too orange. Comparing the figure to the box, yeah, it, it definitely is a bit too orange, but frankly, I don't care, because this is amazing, dude. So this is Dark Trap. I believe it's a mix of glitch trap and Darko himself. As you can see, he has a knife, terrifying, as well as a stitched uh, spring trap slash glitch trap hand. Here's the back of him. Looking very snazzy. Yeah, and once again, if Glitch Trap is made into a U2's figurine, this could be a sneak peek of what's to come. I think it looks amazing. And that is all three of the FNAF YouTubers figurines by U2's. They're all amazing. Of course, I am very nitpicky, but really only with that one thing. Besides that, these, these are amazing, frankly. I know U2's can be kind of expensive. They're $30 each, so nearly a hundred bucks for these three things, but honestly, I think it was worth it. Not only do they look amazing, but they're also really well made. I'm also slowly developing a U2's addiction. I just can't stop. Someone please save me. This is going to kill my bank account. But yeah, honestly, I'm super, super happy with all the products in the end. I think it was all worth it, and I really can't wait to see what else they have in store with FNAF and U2's. Again, we know that they're making a official collab with the FNAF animatronics, as well as some of the fan Verse initiative characters, but I also would not mind seeing a couple more FNAF YouTubers themselves get made into U2s. And again, maybe one time in the future we'll get a Johnny Blocks U2s, but that will only happen if you hit the subscribe button. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later today for another review.